So a physical status or ASA classification is a classification that determines risk of a patient uh, established by the American Society of Anesthesiologists. There's ASA 1 through ASA 6 and an ASA 1 patient is a patient that is a healthy patient, has no systemic diseases and is a non-smoker. An ASA 2 patient may have a controlled systemic disease that is not life-threatening and such as, for example, someone that has a high blood pressure but they take high blood pressure medication and it's well controlled or they're diabetic and they take their diabetes medication and it's well controlled. An ASA 3 patient, for example, is an uncontrolled systemic disease. And that would be like, for example, someone that has heart disease or that they have hypertension and it's not well controlled or they're a diabetic and it's not well controlled. And that's an ASA 3 and we're not allowed to perform procedures in patients in offices that are ASA 3. An ASA 4 patient is a patient that has a severe systemic disease. An ASA 5 patient is a patient that is constant threat to life and they won't survive if they don't have a procedure done. And an ASA 6 is a patient that is going to go in for organ donation. So the reason why uh, every time we evaluate a patient, we have to determine what physical status they're in. And if they are candidates for surgery, they have to be either an ASA 1 or an ASA 2. So, and for that reason, many times someone can not be uh, eligible for surgery at an office-based setting based on their physical status. So I hope this video helps clarify some things and I'll see you next time on the next video. Thanks for watching.